What's up, everyone? We are live at 5 here at Broadway.com. It is Wednesday, November, November 7th. 7th. Correct. My name is Paul Wontork. I'm Beth Stevens. And over there, Hello. Caitlin Moynihan. And two really funny, really talented guys here today. Who is behind the camera, Beth? Oh, I get to say? Oh, I mean, oh, you I say one, I'll say the other. Steven Ro Steve Rosen. Steve, not Steven. It's David Rosner. Or, well, of the other Josh Cohen. Yes. And they're super talented. And this show has been around, but now it's like blowing now up. It's, it's blowing here. up big. Yeah. It's blowing up big. Why is it now blowing up big? Because of Hunter Foster. Yeah. And the West Side Theater. Because it's it's back. It's like it's off Broadway and it's like better than ever. And we're gonna talk about and it. And they're in the room. But first, today's top five. We're very proud about this casting. We're talking about Ain't Too Proud. This is the life and times of the Temptations. It the L and the T. The L and the T of the Temptations. <laughs> the 60s super Sorry, group. Sorry, I threw you off. Yeah, right. I was like, what's happening? Um, this, this, this casting is actually no surprise, but it's exciting. Well, isn't it the same people I just saw do it in yes, L.A.? Yes, and yes, right. correct. So great. Uh, there were pre-Broadway engagements of this show, and here's the cast. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Derek Baskin. Former, you never, you forgot Former to say it. Blogger. Right.com vlogger. He was one of our first vloggers. He was, and I don't remember the name of his vlog. <gasps> it was, I've had a long it was, day. It was, it was about the musical Memphis, so it wasn't called Hockadoo. No. It, it might wasn't. have been, it wasn't called Memphis Lives in Me. You know, I we can know. look this up later. Sorry. Or we can just we'll bring figure it Derek out. in. Derek, right in. Uh, <laughs> James Harkness, Jawan M. Jackson, Ephraim Sykes, and Jeremy Pope. And of course, Jeremy Pope is also in Choir Boy, so he's going to. Have a lot on Broadway going. Oh, yeah. yeah. So this will play the Imperial Theater in 2019. Uh, previews begin on February 28th. Opens on March 21st, first day of spring. Mm -hmm. Written by Dominique Morisot, whom I love. Direction by two-time Tony winner Des Mackinoff. Choreography by Sergio Trujillo, who, it's, of course, brought yeah. us Jersey Boys, and we're very happy about that. It's going to be a big hit. Yeah. And a big Tony nominee. And great music. So if you want to see, like, the hot new show, get tickets. And these celebs are getting real on Broadway. Celebrity autobiography. This was it's surprising. A thing. It's a thing now. Celebrity <laughs> okay. autobiography is blowing up, too. <laughs> Celebrity autobiography is this. I remember when this first started. This used to be a We've been song. here a long time, yeah, yeah. Beth. Yeah. Uh, so this is where like they get famous people to read kind of outrageous pieces from uh, celebrity autobiographies. And Correct. it's really fun. And it's sort of lived on for it's many gone years on for a while, yeah. with a bunch of benefits, but now they're doing it on Broadway. Yeah, it said it first took place in 1998. Is that true? Well, we, we weren't here that long. No. But I, I mean, somebody no, probably did it in their yet. apartment in 98. <laughs> um, I feel like I used to do it in my apartment before it was a thing. Celebrity autobiography. You just read out loud. <laughs> me, just me. <laughs> to the cat. Okay. Uh, okay, but listen to this. So for four Monday nights at the Marquee Theater, November 26th, December 3rd, December 10th, December 17th at 8 p.m., uh, this will be a thing. And here are some of the I rotating hear. stars. you got to look at the schedule. Susan Lucci, Mario Cantone, Rachel Drach, Anthony Porosky. Is, is that why? Oh, okay, this is, is this heavy for, breathing. Is yeah. this from Queer Eye? From is, Queer that, Eye. Is, that, is that Anthony? He's, okay. Yeah. Let's Calm see down. if we can read a celebrity autobiography as well. As Calm down. And, I, and, I, who, and which name did I leave off the list? I don't know. Alec Baldwin. Oh. He's in the news. Oh. So he's going to be on Broadway <laughs> doing this. Um, mm -hmm. This was created by Emmy-nominated writer-performer Eugene Pack. And developed by Pack and Dale Rafel, and uh, yeah, it, it's been around for a long time. They do it at the tri they did it at the Triad Theater. Now they're on the Broadway. But now it's on Broadway. It's a big deal. Mm -hmm. Maybe they'll have choreography. Maybe. Probably not. <laughs> and these fan <laughs> favorites are going to be kicking the clouds away. Okay. Well, that's specific. That's a specific reference. That's an very 80s very musical. Specific. People don't really know the, the music, <laughs> the song references. But I'm glad you IBD beat I'm it. Trying. I, I'm trying. Yes, I'm really impressed. I don't <laughs> know what you're talking about, but I'm talking I'm trying about really hard my here. one and only, it's a which song, is a 1983 <laughs> Gershwin musical. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> and you are doing good. wonderfully. Isn't that's she good. good at her job, everyone? Give her a round oh, of applause, gosh. please. Uh, uh, final four of stars have, are joining the previously announced Sutton Foster and Oh, Gavin her brother. Creel. Is oh, directing oh, the other brother. Josh Cohen. Oh, her brother. I know him. Yeah, Hunter, Hunter Foster is directing the other Josh Cohen. But back to my story. So, uh, oh, speaking of which, did you see, if you followed them on Instagram, Sutton and Gavin the voted together. Photo? Gavin's hair was different. More importantly, they voted. Okay. <laughs> back to the casting. This has nothing to do with Sutton and Gavin. Here are the people that are joining them. Uh, Michael Park. We love him. Yeah, he's Michael great. Park. Heidi Blickenstaff. 
Oh, former vlogger. You didn't say it. I saw her vlogger. voting pictures too. <laughs> Everybody had voting pictures. <laughs> the entire Star. world. Broadway voted. stars let their voices and be some heard. Some of the right people won. Uh, so, uh, Michael Park, Heidi Blickenstaff, Tony Nami, Ted Lewis Levy. Do you know what he got nominated for, Paul? No, you do not. He was a co choreographer on Jelly's Last Jam with <gasps> Gregory that Hines was, that was and Hope good. Clark. That was actually so I special. Love that show. And I don't want to forget Lance Roberts. So they're joining the you know, the Millie Kids. And uh, this will be uh, a it's a roundabout theater company event and it will be directed by Tony Winner Rob Ashford. Wait a minute, it's next week? It's yeah. Monday. It's Monday. I don't Monday at the Sunheim Theater. <laughs> what? 12th. I thought it was like in twenty nineteen. So you can learn about that song that Caitlin told us about. Monday, oh. November twelfth, seven thirty p.m. at the Sondheim. And then it'll be announced like in a year, for Broadway. <laughs> well, I'm just guessing. I mean, that's what they do roundabout. Well, that's what kiss they do. me, Kate. Right? Sure. I don't know. It happens. And the Messiah is going to London. What is this? It sounds religious. <laughs> <laughs> We're loose today. The Messiah will arrive at West End's other palace this holiday season. It's a Not theatrical West comedy. End. Oh, it's written by Tony nominee Pat. I'm reading this information for the first time. I'm sorry. That's okay, because that's The guy who wrote 39 Steps, which was very funny. Yes, it was. Wrote this, so it's a, okay, a so religious it's a com comedy. <laughs> Leslie Garrett, Hugh Dennis, and John Marquez will star. It'll play December 3rd through January 5th. It's center. Oh, here we go. It centers on a traveling theater. It's fun to not know, actually, Beth. I recommend Cold this. reading, guys. <laughs> Just read the information live. It's fun. Make sure it's correct, and then read the The Messiah line. centers on a traveling theater troupe of two actors and an opera singer set to arrive on Camelback. This is... <laughs> <laughs> in venues across the UK to masterfully enact the greatest story ever told. Yeah. So and they're going to sure ride a go camel. Wrong. I'm bet things go wrong. I bet the camel doesn't like the weather. The there. Messiah that goes wrong. <laughs> Let's go see it. It's playing in the West End. Okay, okay. And a late Tony winner's unheard of music is going public. You've heard of the Jonathan Larson Project because we talked about it a lot when it was happening. Now it will, e will be preserved on an album. Uh, Ghost Light Records will record it. Here's who's going to be featured. Of course, this features Jonathan Larson's unheard music. Do you know who Jonathan Larson was, Paul? He wrote Rent. He wrote Tick, Tick, Tick. I'm just reading Bad. cold. Oh. The, the cast includes Nick Blameyer, Lauren Marcus, Andy Mantis, Krista Rodriguez, and George Salazar. The album is due out in early 2019. I know you know, but I'm just reading what's in front right. of me. Right, so it's rare. Uh, it's rare Jonathan, Jonathan Larson songs. music, correct. Yeah. Cool. It's kind of like when we first saw Tick, Tick, Boom, and we were like, we don't know these songs. Because That's how old we are. Because we're old. And That's we're now a classic. Tick, 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 boom. Thanks and for reminding me every single day how old I am. I really appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> we. Not you. We. Us. We uh, are. Okay. Uh, hey, Beth. Thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Caitlin. Why don't you tell us more about today's guest? Of course. So, guys, we have Steve Rosen and David Rossmer, two different people. They've been best friends for years and years, and they're here today to talk about their off-Broadway musical, The Other, Josh Cohen. Uh, they've been perfecting the show since it first premiered in 2012, and now it's back in New York City, where it belongs. I'm going to tell you a little bit more about who they are. Steve has appeared on Broadway in Spamalot, Guys and Dolls, and The Fansworth Invention. David's Broadway credits include Les Mis, Titanic, Fiddler on the Roof, and Peter and the Starcatcher. Uh, be sure to follow Steve at Stevie Rosen on social media. And uh, David doesn't have social media, so <laughs> follow him at, follow other, at other Josh I'm Cohen. I'm getting there. I'm getting He's there. He's getting there. But follow the show at other Josh Cohen to stay up to date on what they're doing over there. Uh, please leave all of your questions in the comments down below. And please welcome David, Steve, and Paul. Hey, guys. Hi. You're, getting, you're getting there to social media? Totally. We're working on it. Yeah. You're like, you know, today <laughs> I was putting a photo on Instagram and I tried to tag. Wait, Beth wait, slow down, slow down, slow down. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to tag Beth Level, uh -huh. a star of the prom. And she has an account, and she posted one photo in June, and it looked like somebody <laughs> made her post it. Yeah, totally. So you're the Beth level I'm of, the Beth level okay. of yeah, Instagram. Totally. Yes. Of Off-Broadway. That's not the first time I've been called that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how's it going, guys? It's going it's great. great. I have one question about that bio. Uh, best friends. That's a very, that's a, that's a big term. Is that just... Um, Hogwash for the press? No, we're, are you playing? We're, are you? We're holding hands. Oh. Right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I do link your names together often. It's true. Uh, so consistent friends, or have there been deep dips in the friendship over the years? Let's just get. Oh, we're getting deep and heavy. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I want to hear about the, the the dark times. Um, you know, sometimes when David is sleeping, mm. I will creep into his room and move the stuff around. Weird. Yeah. Um, and he get that sometimes will yeah. annoy him, but he doesn't know it's me, me uh, until the yeah. one day he wasn't really sleeping. Yeah, I got him good. 
Have you ever lived together? No, no, no. That okay. would be crazy. That'd be hard. Actually, <laughs> well, we might have. So we met in summer camp at French Woods, which is like you know yeah. the stage door manor light. Uh -huh. And <laughs> I, I uh, like to call it. It's it's more of like the Steppenwolf to the Lincoln Center yeah. of, the, of the yeah. camps. Yeah. We're yeah. the hardcore camp. Okay, yeah, cool. Stage door manor. They were like doing theater in French Woods. They were like, we like theater, but we're gonna smoke pot on the porch. Um, mm -hmm. That was like sort of the difference. But uh, we met there in like literally in the middle of an improv. Um, we were auditioning for improv troupe, okay. which is very important when you're at summer camp. Yeah, and we were both in. We were both aud during our audition. We ended up in an improv together, and they were narrating the story. They were like Bill and Bob, you know, walk into a bar. We walked into a bar. Mm -hmm. Bill and Bob, you know, say hi to each other. Bill and Bob spill a drink on each other. Wow. Bill throws a drink on Bob. Yeah, and we both we sort both of spilled the drink. Having no the same idea time. who was Bill and who was Bob. <laughs> and <laughs> and the room started laughing. And so literally, we had not met each other yet. We were meeting in this like scene. Mm -hmm. So all of a sudden, we were like, I I like this guy. Yeah. I can work with yeah. this guy. And I found him very passable. Yeah. So <laughs> we became fast friends. They made each other laugh. <laughs> and you love doing improv together and and coming up with things together, including. The other, the other Josh, Josh Cohen. Cohen. Totally. So this show, I believe, didn't it first come around like six years ago? Is that my math? Right? We're really bad at math too, yeah. so it's very hard <laughs> to figure out. We're told there would be no math. Today. Yeah. <laughs> um, but it, we, the the first sort of version of it, we did at a Nymph Festival, and right. a much different version okay. than where it sort of lives today. Literally, all we had were two bookshelves and a lot of ideas. But what was the what was the inspiration for it? What, like where did you, you you guys were already doing Don't Quit Your Night Job? Yeah, we right? were already that doing was, Don't Quit Your Night really Job. Fun, uh, how would you describe what was Don't Quit Your Night Job? Don't Quit was an improv-based variety show that yep. we did at Joe's Pub, and then we did it off Broadway, yep. and it's still a lot traveling of guest around. Stars guest stars. We did it at Broadway Con recently, where we just do crazy stunts and events and stuff. We would write stuff for big celebrities, so like Sting came and did the show wow. when he was in Last Ship, and Huey Lewis and Sutton, basically anybody on Broadway who has. Uh, would come and gig with us yeah. uh, after their show, and it was for charity. It was for TDF Open Doors uh, Foundation. I think like it was going on right now. I bet we could get Cuba. I bet we could get Cuba <laughs> Gooding Jr. I mean? He would totally do yeah, it. Totally. It was fun. It was a lot of fun. You should bring it. Would you ever bring it back? Totally. totally. Yeah. At, at any time, they'll bring it back. Yeah. Yeah. It's um, on YouTube. So you you had already done that. Stuff. And then uh, this is. So how did the other Josh Cohen like did it grow out of your collaboration on that or no we were we were in Steve was subletting an apartment in Los Angeles and we were there we had a TV meeting the next morning we were nervous about and so whoever he was subletting from had a game system and we said let's play Mario Kart to just take our mind off it which we never did we put it on and the music from the video game sounded like a Neil Diamond song and we nice. were like this is kind of cool so we took the guitar off this guy's wall, and by the end of the night, to lyrics from takeout menus, we had written six or seven of the tunes that are still in the show today. Wow. Just trying to write this like long lost Neil Diamond album and amusing <laughs> ourselves. And we got so into it that we came back to New York and wrote the show and wow. sort of like lost track of the television thing. But we were having so much fun, and it, it was kind of a, a story we always wanted to tell. We had talked about it in the past, and um, it just felt like the perfect opportunity to do it. And we came back, and these friends of ours from Nymph were like, do you have anything this season? We were like, no, but there's this crazy <laughs> sort of comedy with songs we wrote. You could take a look at and it. a rough draft, like literally the first yeah. draft we had of it. Wow. And, and they, yeah, they, they said, this is great. We want to do this. This is so funny. And we were like, are you sure? We were <laughs> like, they were like, yes, all you need is $20,000. And we were like, okay, well, thank you so much. And then we were at uh, New York Stage and Film, uh, and uh, John Ellison Conley, mm -hmm. wonderful actor. Mm -hmm. and He's in The Nap right currently now. Currently featured in The Nap for yes. another week. He's awesome. He's awesome. He's awesome. Um, and he, he was there, and we, he, we were talking about it and saying, oh, they want us to do this, but we need $20,000 or something. That night, over a few cocktails, he said, I want to produce your show. And we were like, you're kidding. He's like, I'm going you're to playing. He was drunk. Money. He was okay. drunk. Okay. And, I, and we said, Tell, read it in the morning and tell us if you still feel the same way. And the next morning he said, I, I feel twice as strongly. And he literally is the reason the show ever got off the ground. He totally funded it. We Seed money. Seed money. Yeah. Did. We, we, pull, we Like Steve said, we pulled bookshelves off the street, which now would be like crazy because they probably had bed bugs. Bed bugs, yes, totally. Um, bed bugs. 
bookshelves. And, and that and we did it. They didn't exist back then, bed bugs. They didn't no, no, they no. weren't no one knew about Trump. That. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and so John Elson Cuddy, does that mean he gets like a P every week's box office? Is he still uh, deeply <laughs> ingrained <laughs> in the finances <laughs> of the well, other Josh Cohen? Should I not have said that out loud <laughs> without lawyers? No, uh, you know, I, I think sort of the, the legend sort of has it that he met Celia Keenan Bolger doing uh, Don't Quit Your Night Job. Oh, totally. That they were sort of there at the same time. And so. now they're married. Well, he there's the us. thing. And parents. Totally. And parents to a beautiful kid. That's amazing. Awesome. And yeah. she's on Broadway, too. I know. Kind of mockingbird. It's a good way to like talk about everyone's sure, credits. Sure, pitch totally. all of them. Yeah, yeah, why not? Aaron Sorkin wrote the Farnsworth Invention. Yes. That's how it's pronounced. Farnsworth. So you set that whole relationship up. So you're saying that was the payment. Yes, okay, we have a contract great. for that. Yes. Love. Good. Love. Okay. We paid in love, which <laughs> is totally appropriate since <laughs> our show, show is a, a romantic comedy. <laughs> so what is, Okay, so now the show is back. I assume over the years you guys are always kind of working on it. Is that fair? Yeah, Is absolutely. it sort of just like an ongoing... Well, it never stopped getting done. Yeah. It got to some place. And doing they, it. they did it at Paper Mill, yep. and then they just did it last year at Jiva, mm -hmm. where uh, I, didn't, I wasn't in it. The multi talented Alan Schmuckler played my role. He was great. Uh -huh. He was and I, he was amazing. Of yeah. the schmuckers, like the the a schmuckler. schmuckler. Oh, oh okay. That was Jonathan. like the jam, the jam oh, no. dynasty. No, okay. <laughs> he wishes. Sorry, he wish fans. Okay. We're like the schmucklerites. Or uh -huh. um, but no, it was great. What finally one of us who wrote it got to sit out and watch it. That's and, yeah, that uh, was fun. We learned tons. Yeah, we changed as much as we we changed yesterday. We put in like a people, brand new scene. A, a brand new scene. A brand new scene yesterday. Yeah. And it went great, yeah. It's so um, Hunter Foster is a very talented yes. actor so and director. He's been directing a lot all over the country. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whenever I saw him a couple, like last summer I ran, ran into him and he was like, he was doing Million Dollar Quartet a lot because he was in that and you know, that sort of was an extension of that. But he was doing directing Rocky Horror, right? All kinds yeah. of things I've done everywhere. A, I've done a bunch of them with him. Yeah. So I did Guys and Dolls with him at Bucks yep. County and Rocky Horror and Company. Thank you. Thank you, David. <laughs> I, I was expecting more from the room. Um, but uh, but he's a phenomenal director and uh -huh. a great storyteller. He's also a book writer. So yep. He's just a guy of the theater yeah. and a friend. And so when it came time to do the show again in New York and he directed it at Jiva, uh -huh. it just seemed like a perfect fit to have uh, a friend of ours to help us you know, bring it to New York again. Cool. So what's it been like uh, doing it now? And you're back off Broadway. You open next week? Yes, at yes. the beautiful West Side Theater on Monday. That's a fancy off-Broadway venue. That's it's like, great. to me, that's sort of like one of the main off-Broadway venues. Broadway that's lights, like, yeah. That's, that's for real. Totally. Yeah. It is a classic reason. venue. Like classic. Our, yeah, when I would come to town, my dad used to bring me to New York when I was a kid. We'd like for the weekend, we'd see like three shows. We'd see two Broadways and an off Broadway, uh -huh. and we'd always go to whatever was playing at the West Side. That's yeah. generally where we wound up. Yeah, so we're trying to revive off Broadway a little. Bring back the musicals. Yeah, off Broadway. Absolutely. Original musicals. Yeah. yeah. It's a good spot, too. There's a lot of good restaurants right near there. Totally. Esca's across the street. For, there you go. A little pie company. Yeah. <laughs> you should come. It's delicious. <laughs> totally. Uh, okay, so how you feeling? Like, how are you feeling with, with where you're at right now? And I'm a little hungry. Yeah. Thank you for hungry asking. The show. It is. It's, oh. This is like, well, this five, the Live at Five is a pre-dinner yeah. kind of um, show. That's probably yeah. So people tend to be hungry yeah. when um, we do Live at Five. <laughs> <laughs> it's the timing. We whet their appetite. Uh -huh. um, it's going great. Yeah. It's, it's, it's been crazy. The response has been off the charts more than we ever could have expected. It's, it's kind of like bittersweet because... The show is really about hope. It's about this guy who gets constantly crapped on and eventually finds his place in the world and, and it leaves everybody feeling like a little more in control of their lives today. So, it, which is a kind of shame that they need to feel that way, but it does have that effect on people. Mm. And so um, we feel kind of bittersweet about it. We wish the world didn't need this show so right. much, but it's like eerily apropos wow. to our times. And you both play Josh. We both play Josh yep. Cohen. I played Josh Cohen one year ago mm -hmm. when he was uh, sporting a rockin' mustache yep. and about I, I 15 know, it extra is. pounds. I like it. Thank you. I do like it. And David plays Josh Cohen today, narrating mm -hmm. how he got uh, from here to here. Right. And uh, it's, it's the cast it's the cast is uh, seven multi-instrumentalists. Is from here to here like an upgrade? Yeah, uh, I don't know. Well, it's sort of lateral. Sort of lateral. You're a very move. handsome guy, it's, Steve. Thank you very much. Yeah. But I, where this guy is in life isn't as together as Got where it. he is in a year. Got it. Um, and the cast, everybody plays like a bunch of different instruments. So it's mm -hmm. like once, but once with comedians. Um, so they all play a bunch of different parts. They swap in and out. Kate Weatherhead, Elizabeth Nesselrode, Luke Darnell, Louis Tucci, and Hannah Ellis. Now Hannah, yes. who by the way, uh, you know her, everyone knows her because she sang uh, Asheville on Bright 
Bright Star. Bright Star, yeah. Sure yeah. She's, She's so talented. I don't want to sing it because I'm hearing it. I'm hearing her. But Try. wasn't she like the early, early production? She was, yeah. Her and Kate have both been in it. Kate oh, was wow. nominated for um, a Drama, drama desk. desk for the show. And she's Amazing. Back. But That's Hannah's great. like. So you have like people like, people like you guys. They want to keep going. <laughs> So far. So, yeah. so far. They don't yeah. know. It's because we're not wearing pants. You yeah. can't see that at home. No, yeah. I we know. Are, uh, none of us. Um, so <laughs> that's just true every day. But what, what about this album? This album is also very exciting. Totally. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You. So this is like a superstar. This is like uh, the off-Broadway version of the Greatest Showman Reimagined album that's coming out. Yes. Where yes. they got a lot of rock stars to do the song from the Greatest Showman. Talk about this other Josh Cohen album. Oh, we will. It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> it's a studio concept album. So we have on it, so it's David and I are singing the Josh's, but every other part, and there are literally like 50 other parts in the show, every other part that gets sung is sort of stunt cast with a huge Broadway celebrity. Um, so we've got amazing names in it. Hank Azaria, Kelly O'Hara, Sun Foster, Cheetah Rivera, um, James Roday, crazy. Um, Jimmy Simpson, Richard Kind. Yeah, um, amazing. Yeah, it's all uh, James Monroe, Igle Hart, Lindsay wow. Mendez. Wow. Um, and many more. And Jen Colella. I mean, Jen yeah, Colella you know, I plays, he, Neil she Diamond. plays Neil Diamond on the album. Uh, yeah. Wow. Well, she Sarah Chase. Um, wow. It's good. That's amazing. You guys have both uh, been on Broadway. What's your favorite? Each answer this. What's your favorite Broadway credit you got to do? Um, David's Broadway credit that he likes the most. We don't talk about yours. Oh, about mine. Yeah. Sorry. Um, my favorite, I think, is, is Spamalot. Monty Python, Spamalot. I was, good. I was working for the casting director as the audition reader, and Mike Nichols cast me in the original production yeah. as one of the principal roles in it, and it was a mind-blowing experience because it was, it was like the, a rock concert of comedy. Like the people were going nuts for it, yeah. and I felt very uh, simultaneously in way over my head, but also, you know, the place where I'd always sort of dreamed about being. So you were good. You were so good. good. Uh, <laughs> you know, I would say Peter and the Star Catcher for me because I got to meet Rick Ellis, who I uh, get to. Yeah. I'm fortunate to be writing with now some stuff, and that was like a, a life changing experience. But. Um, you know, I Les Mis was just one of my favorite shows. He knows, like, I, I have, like, the weirdest favorite shows. I love Cats. I love Les Blood, Mis. Blood That's Brothers. For real. Blood Brothers is one of my Blood favorites. Brothers. I'm the same way, dude. Really? Isn't it oh, good? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because, yeah, like because those times. are the shows that I, like, grew up with. Totally. Blood Brothers was every Blood Brothers. Amazing. Everything. Oh Eddie, oh Eddie, shoes upon the table. Yeah, and, and Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, like, yeah. Oh, Marilyn Monroe, Monroe, Monroe fourteen song. times. That's oh my god, are you guys, kidding you guys me? Should totally hang out. Yeah, yeah. tell me it's not so. Oh my Blood god, Brothers it was like heartbreaker. Next. Yeah, it's amazing. Heartbreaker. Yeah. You're crying. Okay. I saw it so many. I saw Brian Darcy James. I like went after. I was like, hey, can I have your autograph? And now he's on our album. Terry Butler was in that too. Really? Yeah. Uh huh. So you guys good. could do Blood Brothers. Let's it's like do it right it. now. No. <laughs> Tell me <laughs> it's not true. <laughs> um, but I, I, so Les Mis was like super fun because I was Thenardian. And I it know. Was a dream come true. I would stand, even though it was three hours long, every night I would stand on the side of stage and just listen and cry at that music. For some reason, it just, it just still like hits me in the right place. That's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. You're both real like Broadway babies. I love it. Yeah, why not? Yeah. We love it. We love the theater. And yeah. off-Broadway legends. Uh, yeah. Hey, Caitlin. Yes. By the way, you know uh, Hunter Foster and Sutton Foster. Can you help me get tickets to uh, my one and only on Monday night? Apparently it's Monday <laughs> can night. We? Can we? Can we? Do you have a connection with the Fosters? <laughs> um, it's also our opening night, so you can come yeah. see that, too. If you want. Oh, double yeah, tickets yeah, to right. that. Look at see that. It. That's competing events. <laughs> totally. It's the height of the season. <laughs> hey, Caitlin, uh, what are the people saying? Yes, we got a lot of questions for you guys. Uh, so Daniel would like to know how you guys uh, keep up your voice and keep up the energy while you're doing these shows. That's it's a tough. great question. Yeah. It's tough. It's tough because it is like doing a rock concert every night. Mm -hmm. uh, so you have to treat your voice very carefully. You've got an amazing sound designer um, and uh, an amazing crew of people. It's, it's good that you give a shout out to the sound designer. Yeah, Bart Fassbender. Bart, Bart yeah, is doing a phenomenal job. Sound designers deserve Bart. Tonys and, and acclaim. They sure don't do. They? Totally. they sure do. And Dan Lipton is our music supervisor, so they make sure that our mix is always good. Mm -hmm. And in terms of like um, what we put on our throat, there's this fantastic. You just put something in your mouth. I for put a lightsaber in my mouth. For your throat. <laughs> I'm losing my, my voice too. 
I'm, so I'm, let me I'm, give the, you, I'm the understudy for both roles, so totally. I'll, I'll, give, you a, I'll a give you a tip. Actually, that was, that's been passed down from generations that was just passed to you. So there's this stuff called honey loquat, mm. honey loquat syrup that you put into hot water. Sada Ramirez at Spamalot told it to Christian Borle. When I went into Starcatcher, Christian told me the way to survive this is using honey loquat. It'll help your voice. And then You just told me yesterday to get honey loquat. It's the first time I've ever lost, like, my voice is, like, struggling. Well, Sada Ramirez needs some because she needs to get back to Broadway and start singing again. Oh, she's so good. Isn't she? So but she I want her back. Don't we want her back? I'm we sorry, I changed the topic. Back, Change the subject. <laughs> uh, so, um, so that's how. And yeah. you, are you sleeping well? And or are you up all night working on the show? And there has been a lot of work. drinking with John Elson Conley totally. after the nap. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, John. <laughs> no, love you, guy. I'm <laughs> drinking right now, actually. This is just vodka. <laughs> it's just vodka with a tea bag. Yeah, not put, even a tea bag in there. Put that it's in there. The to, best to, way to do it. Yeah. yeah. Absolute. Absolute makes it's tea. Right. So. Yeah. Totally. Um, but sleep is super important. I mean, yeah. if you're at home, get a good night's sleep. That'll help you. Yeah, Daniel, get a good night's sleep. Take care of yourself. Mm -hmm. Whatever show you're doing, we love you. Know. you. Yeah. <laughs> keep up the good work. Yeah, keep up the good. Day. He actually works for Honey Loquat. Uh, this is just big Honey yeah. Loquat. What do you do to save yourself. your voice? <clears throat> honey Loquat. Honey Loquat. Uh, Morgan says, "Hi guys. Uh, what Hi, celebrity Hi, performer slash actor would you love to write for one day, oh. if there is one?" Ooh, that's a great question. That is good. Um, I mean, the that's guy that I good. really would love to write for is dead, unfortunately. Oh. I would have loved to have written for Zero Mostel. Oh. Um, yeah. I just thought he, like as a kid, I was obsessed with him as a performer. I just thought that he was amazing at being a comedian and doing the, the, the sort of the more dramatic stuff. Never saw him live. He was gone before wow. I was born. But that was a talent that I like. I felt like, oh, I just missed him by a second. Did you know he was going to say that? You kind of had a face like, eh, I figured he was going to say you, Do you guys do that? Are you like a couple where like, you zero. know? Story. You know what each other's gonna say. Yeah. Oh, oh, sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes we finish each other's samples of. Oh, what, did it wrong which, again. Sorry. Uh, David, which person that's alive do you want to maybe write for? Maybe Christopher Walken. Oh. I just feel like he can read the phone book. I would just be happy. I, my job would be really easy. That'd be. A, he that'd just be can ridiculous. do anything. Yeah. He can say just anything. anything and he can make this news. He could do. Very yeah. interesting. Wait, were you? Did you just do a Christopher Walken impression? I, I was trying. I, I've never heard. I that. aborted <laughs> halfway through. That was adorable. Sort of we a should, half Walken. That's a good yeah. workshop. Half yeah. Walken. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, let's do one more question. And this is Billy would like to know what your dream roles are. Probably Billy mm. Porter. I just wanted to tell you that ahead of time. <laughs> hey, Billy. <laughs> He's watching. Okay. Okay. Lola in Kinky Boots. <laughs> um, uh, my dream role, I think, I, I'm sort of, I feel like I'm sort of playing it right now. I mm. think that this is sort of, we've written, Josh, Josh Cohen is sort of like the Tevia for guys in their 30s or so. Um, and so, but I think eventually I would love to play Tevia and Fiddler on the Roof. For me, Blood Brothers. Just <laughs> one. I don't even oh, care. Mark. Wait, which brother are you? I will take either. I well, will like, true west. The bad it. one and the good one. We should we should do like the true west version where like we switch every Who's night. Who's we? You and I. Dude, I don't perform. <laughs> No, I, I think this yes. is good. I'm going to direct it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay, we're going to work on that. Blood Brothers. See what you did, Billy? Well, who's going to be the mother? We got we need a dream cast oh of that. Sada Ramirez. Sada Ramirez is Sada back. Ramirez. We've that solved Broadway's problems. Go. We got it all figured One, out. One, five, and five. <laughs> this is amazing. If we only came together every day, think all we could solve. You guys should come back daily. Yeah, Just yeah, work I it do. into your schedule. It'd be totally. fun. We're available. Um, interested. But hey, everyone. Go see these two in the other Josh Cohen. It is the West Side Theater. Lots of great restaurants and pies. <laughs> pies. Uh, they're awesome. I mean, it's obvious. You're it's awesome. obvious. Yeah. Thank you for thank having you us. So yeah, thank hey, you so much. Hey, Caitlin, why don't you take us out? Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are live at 5 every single day on Facebook. You can listen to us in a podcast form by searching for hashtag live at 5 and hitting that subscribe button. Be sure to tune in tomorrow when we talk to Mike Feist of Days of Rage.